Hello, my name is Marion Chebet, a radiographer with GNA Medical Mobile Diagnostics. We've partnered with Ponea Health to offer uh, medical ultrasounds at home. And today we are going to be talking about what ultrasound at home entails and everything that it's about. Ideally, uh, preparation differs with the type of examination you're going to have. So for the common examinations that we do at home, such as uh, pelvic ultrasounds or obstetric ultrasound, those are pregnancy scans or just for checking your uterus or for men the prostate, you have got to have a full bladder at the, for the time of the scan. If you're going to have an abdominal scan where we check your liver, kidneys and spleen, you need to at least starve for six hours so that we can clearly see all the parts of your abdomen. That is basically the most common exams that require preparation. Ultrasound, uh, the roles of ultrasound differ with the stage of the pregnancy that you're in. For example, in the first trimester, the first three months of your pregnancy, ultrasound is very important in knowing the location of the pregnancy first, because not all pregnancies will be in your uterus, so that's always important. Uh, it also, it's also good to see the number of uh, fetuses that you have because sometimes they can be twins or triplets, so that's an important thing that we assess in the first trimester scan. Um, we also get to check your ovaries at that stage of the pregnancy, whether they have any issues, whether you have any infections that are visible on ultrasound, that's first trimester. The second trimester, we get to actually assess the anatomy of the baby, like the head, if it's well formed, the heart, the spine, and everything. That is also the time when you can tell the gender of your baby. And then the third trimester, we get to see how the baby is presented so that the people that are helping you have your baby can um, make a birth plan. For example, if your baby's head is facing downwards, you can now consider a natural birth. If your baby is not, uh, is, uh, not in a cephalic presentation, the one we call breach, we can also arrange for the birth plan for that. And also get to know how the code is for people. Some babies tend to get a code around their neck, so that's also good for arranging a birth plan. Uh, ultrasounds are, are totally safe, so you can definitely do them as many times as you want, but at least three times in your pregnancy. One in the first trimester the, and every, uh, the second and third trimester, one time each, so that you can be able to uh, do a step-by-step -step assessment of your child, baby's development. Thank you for joining us in this discussion. You can book our services at ponea.com. We look forward to engaging with you again in the next episode.